Drizzle's crown is beyond this door. OK, let's go, go, go. I'm going first this time. Ah! Oh, Bluey. Crikey, what the X is problem? <sighs> well, this don't look too clever. Old Brickface over there ain't going to let us through, is he? We're not going to get in with him on the door. Hmm. If the Guardian will not allow us to pass, then we must pass through the Guardian. mentioned anything about a gatekeeper. You don't think this means... Alas, I fear that it might. Yggdrasil's crown may already have been infiltrated. We can't have that. The altars are only hope. We need to get past this thing and get in there. It is as they say, the most toughest bow requires sharpest axe. We must avoid to panic, peruse for an opening and give to him thunderous what for! Something strange is afoot with our sparring partner. Huh. Itching for another round, huh? Don't mind if I do. We have beaten him into submission. Now is our chance. You know what? I think we might be able to send him flying. Literally. Tell me if I go too far. You brought this on yourselves! Magic fast! There ain't no such thing as an invincible monster. There'll be a way to beat it, just you wait and see. The anchor is right. If we keep fighting our hardest, we're bound to happen upon something eventually. Losing was never an option. <laughs> 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 
So, my dear lightlings, at the last we meet again. Wait, isn't that him? You know, the one from the arena on Colosseum. It sure is. I've been looking forward to this. A moment. Ah, but of course. The self-satisfied swordsman. <laughs> so, despite your protestations to the contrary, you were with the Lightlings all along. Nope, but I signed up with them. Figured they'd lead me straight to you. And they sure didn't disappoint. Time to pick up where we left off. Let's go! Please do desist! Prior to combat, let us make inquiries of him and determine his identity. Seconded. And I would know what business he has with us lightnings. <laughs> Do not fret, little ones. I mean to tell you everything. To begin, it seems only right that I introduce myself. I am Velasco. Last and greatest king of the children of the night. The children of the night? Isla spoke of a force. I take it your people stand against the children of the light. So, you have learned something of the world's true nature since last we met. If so, you must have also learned of the centuries of oppression my people have suffered of your forebears. <sighs> A long, long time ago, under the guidance of the goddess, your noble ancestors conspired to attack the father of the children of night, the great black dragon. By their treachery, my master was robbed of his strength and sealed away against his will using the power of Yggdrasil, the World Tree. After this, the world was flooded with light, and only light. And monsters began to forget their eons old enmity with man, becoming little better than sniveling lap dogs. What? Are you saying that, that monsters are meant to attack humans? I refuse to believe it. It's not in their nature. How wrong you are. <gasps> it was not just the monsters your kind corrupted, my dear. The very fabric of the world itself was warped. Warped by the unjust actions of the children of light. I crave but one thing. That the natural balance be restored. That the darkness be allowed to retake its rightful place Stop in the him. world. He's going to hurl that thing at Yggdrasil. Not if I can help it. No, wait! <laughs> My dear Lightlings, you make it too easy. <laughs> what? Heaven! Come on! Break! Free! <laughs> This altar is a thing most sacred. Only the children of night and light may approach it. What better place than this to set my trap? <laughs> Lightlings, witness the power of the circle of night. <laughs> into darkness is to plunge the children of light into darkness also. <laughs> now, down you go. To the blackest depths of night. No, I won't let you do that. Hmm? It's time for the slime to shine. What in? <laughs> An amusing interlude. But just a little too far fetched. As if a heel slide would bear the circle of light. 
<laughs> what joy! What pleasure! What sweet satisfaction! Now, ladies, let your minds and your bodies drink in the darkness and relinquish your hold over the world tree. It will not take long for the blackness to seep down and gain a stranglehold on the Thrassel's roots. And when it does, that detestable seal will be broken. And my master, my god, the great black dragon shall rise again! <laughs> Listen, you must promise me, promise me, uh, uh, that you will never let him win. Everybody, I think it's time for us to go. From, from this place? But, but surely you do not intend to, to, to jump? It's all right. There'll be no need for anything so dramatic as that. Oh. run in like that without thinking then he wouldn't have this is no time to be blaming yourself if anyone is at fault here it is I hmm? your majesty in this world of ours there live certain stout-hearted souls warriors charged with the sacred task of protecting the children of the light. Guardians. And I, your humble king, count myself among their number. Being such, it has ever been my sworn duty to protect the two of you come what may. You're the king, and we're just soldiers. You're saying you were supposed to protect us? Just so. All the rulers of my line have held this selfsame honor. And yet, alas, I was unequal to the task. I failed in my duty, and one of my charges came to no. Ma! Oh. I shall dwell no more on such woes. Not while a glimmer of hope yet remains. What? Are you saying there might be a way to bring him back to us? I know not. But there can be no harm in seeking counsel. The goddess may yet provide. When you say the goddess, would I be right in thinking you mean the same goddess who sealed away the dark dragon? Do me a lemon. What chance you got of speaking to a bleeding goddess? There is a place in this wondrous world of ours where the children of light may go to hear her speak. A sacred tower known as the Pinnacle of Light. 